Good day, and welcome to another episode of Jimmy Tech. Brought to you by JTG Consulting, providing information technology services, helping you connect, secure, and repair your technology systems. Okay, so I'm going to give a quick overview as far as what I did to resolve the problem with my Motorola router, my cable modem, sorry, not being able to properly put out enough signal power for the upstream to get back to the cable company. So I have my modem, and basically what was happening is the port would be connected to the wall, and I did some diagnostic, I'll show you in the video, and also on the blog. So to check the uh, signal levels on my modem, I went ahead and opened Chromium, went to the address of the cable modem, and then went to the signals tab, And if you'll notice, I have a signal to noise ratio. They're all around 36 to 37. So that's not bad, that's pretty good. And then I wanted to check the uh, power level. And you'll notice that on the downstream, the power level is at about two dB millivolts. Now on the upstream, I was noticing I did have a problem because the power level was above the 48 threshold. And this was what I had found where if the modem is trying to push out more than 48 decibel millivolts, it will have a problem with that power output and it will basically cause the system to lock up. And that's exactly what I was seeing. So I went ahead and bought the cable amplifier and put it in. And here's what we ended up getting as a result. So to resolve it, I did a little research and I found the best way to do that was to add a active return cable amplifier. Now I ended up going with the PCT which I bought on Amazon. I'll show links in the blog. And the reason I picked PCT over the Motorola or the Aris is that it's probably about half the price. You can pick up one of these if you're thrifty for about $35 whereas you're gonna pay at least 75 for the Motorola or Aris amplifier which with active return. Now that's the key. So on this particular unit, it has a 15 dB boost forward and 13 dB boost reverse. So you basically get the power supply and you get the amplifier. What you'll need to do is plug this into the wall, run a cable from here to here, a coaxial cable is fine. Then with your modem, you want to go from the cable modem to your out RF, then from your wall jack, from which your cable provider puts in your house or you have in the house, you want to run from there to the RF in. So now this one has a 13 dB out boost. So what that means is that the cable signal comes in, it gets boosted 14 and goes to your cable modem for the downstream. Now that's your downloading and basically accessing things from the web. That we didn't need to boost because it was at 3 uh, dB positive, which was good. But we did need to boost the upbound because we were sitting at about 50. Now what this does is this signal comes back out through here and with the active return, it's actually boosted 13 dB MV going back up. So that's going to help alleviate this guy having to push 50, he's going to have to only push 13 less than that. So he's only going to have to push 47. Wait a minute. <laughs> I can't do math. 50 minus 13 is 37. So chances are this isn't going to be exact. You're probably going to be dropping about 10 dB millivolts, which is perfectly fine. You just need to get this guy down and closer or further away from the 50 millivolt uh, range. They don't like to run much above 48 and that's what I was finding out. Basically this thing would hang up about every two weeks. Uh, the only way to clear it would be to shut it off, wait a little bit, turn it back on. Basically you're forcing this to reset. All the lights on the front would look fine but it just would not work. So I went ahead and installed the amplifier and went back into my Chromium 
and accessed the URL of the cable modem and gave it a quick check to see as to what my signal levels looked like now and making sure my signal to noise didn't drop. So I went to the signal tab and on the downstream I had signal to noise ratio of about 38 to 39 so it actually improved and then on the power level I ended up getting boosted up to 14, 14 dB millivolts on all of the channels. So that was from 2 to 14, so that's not bad. On the upstream, I did very well. My power level went down to 43 on the two that were above 50 and went to 40 or remained near the 40 area, which is far better on the other channels. So basically all of the channels worked out the way they should. So that was what I did and that fixed the problem. So I thought I'd share that with you and I'll put other clips in this video and please check out the blog. It will have a more detailed explanation of what I did, how I got there. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch the other videos that I produce. Once again, Thank you and have a great day.